a pleasant afternoon one and all this is your apostle elijah peter chambers with part two with celestial from the master's voice and the conclusion of bishop td jakes there's a scripture that has been um hammering in my spirit for about a few days now and maybe a week now since the disgrace and the reproach of Bishop T.D. Jakes and the Lord brought me to the scripture 1st Timothy 3 it says this is a true saying if a man desire the office of a bishop he desire a good work a bishop then must be blameless that word blameless means whatever allegations whatever lies that is brought against you it must not be true i can remember when the prime minister of jamaica and his cronies and the obia team teamed up together lied against me brought an allegation that I sent him a death threat when the Lord spoke to me that he will die his wife his son the scripture said that God is no respecter of persons it doesn't matter what status what powers he carry whether you're a president a prime minister a leader a king or queen God is a God of all flesh and he is the man that brings out the final word. The situation with Bishop T.D. Jakes, my son looked at me last week and he said, son, he said, daddy, it seems like you are affected by what has been happening to Bishop T.D. Jakes. If there's any one of you as minister who is celebrating the downfall of Bishop T.D. Jakes something is wrong with you the Bible said that if one is caught into a fault he that is spiritual restores such a one with the spirit of meekness considering yourself to be in the very same thing as a leader as a human being and as a person you feel it but the Bible says that in the book of Psalm, chapter 107, 127, I should say, 127, it says here, except, let me quickly find it here. Oh Lord, quickly, 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 let me find the scripture. It says, except the Lord build the house, they labored in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wicked, but in vain. If the foundation is not right, your kingdom is going to crumble. And I don't believe that if Bishop T.D. Jakes took about 40 to 30 years to build his ministry, and in the last, it took him zero seconds to destroy all the years that he has taken to build his ministry. The book of Proverbs will declare that you are not wise. But I encourage Bishop T.D. Jakes, this is not the time to to be defensive to use whatever powers you have to block everyone and to oppose and to manipulate others because if you could remember we, we all must be reminded of um, Bishop Eddie Long that a prophecy was given to him by a man by a, a minister and a prophetess and um, 
he responded negatively and we saw the demise of Bishop Eddie Long. It is sad that as, as ministers, because I'm not going to take myself out, I try my utmost best to walk worthy of the calling and to be blameless. I do everything in my power to protect my character. It is imperative that as a leader, you do everything in your power to protect your character. So many of us are, as leaders, we forget, we forget where we're coming from. We forget the laws, the precepts, and the commandments that is given to us to govern how we demonstrate in the global world. And for example, wherever I'm going, I never go alone. I'm not a lone ranger. Because you see, when you speak the truth, the devil will use people to try to set you up. When it comes to dealing with young ladies, I'm very careful. Everything I do is transparent and is open. And I always have witnesses around me. If I'm going into somebody's home, a female home, I don't go alone. I could remember I was invited at someone's home. Uh, I think it was, it, it was one of those celebrities in Jamaica to come and pray in, the, in her home. And something just impressed upon me, said to me, the voice of the Lord said, Peter, don't go alone. So I called two church sisters, elder, an elder one and a mid, middle age sister to come with me, people that are reputable and that do not to protect my character. And when I approached, when I came into the territory of the celebrity, the celebrity said to me, Pastor, I wanted you alone to be here, not not with other two sisters. I said, listen, I'm not a lone ranger and I'm, I don't do ministry alone because nobody can set me up. She was highly disappointed and we put off the appointment for a home because I made it up in my mind. I will not go into that home unless I have my witness. You know, we, we as ministers, we cannot be vulnerable. We cannot become vulnerable to the schemes and the strategy of the enemy. And as I said, it is sad that all these allegations, all these proofs, all these evidence are popping up all over to bring down someone who is respected globally from the religious perspective and from the black nation however from the perspective of celestial the lord reveals to me who celestial is and the lord spoke to me that he has chosen select celestial even before her members were formed into her mother's womb she got an encounter at the age of six the lord brought me to the age of six god has been revealing stuff to her at a very very age which she did not understand much about these dreams and visions she was getting when she was at the age of six coming up to a teenage life but earlier in her in in, in her adulthood she recognized that these dreams and visions they were coming more where god was revealing the secrets of heart the lord told me that celestial is a precious soul and is chosen by the heavenly is chosen by jesus christ she's one of the end time voices that god has raised in the 20th century to divulge, to reveal, to expose the secrets of the Lord. The Bible said the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And God, listen, every prophecy, visions and dreams that God has given to celestial, it's going to come to pass. So all of you who are saying that celestial from the master's voice is false and you're finding scriptures 
to prove that she's false. You're only disgracing yourself. You're only bringing yourself down. The Lord said, touch not the Lord's anointed and do his prophet no harm. And even the leaders who are carnal and using agenda, agenda attack to attack celestial. Listen, the Bible says that he's no respect of persons. And in heaven, in, the, in eternity, we're neither male nor female. God has chosen Celestial. Celestial is called for this time. And I want to declare to Celestial, you have been tested. And you will be tested. But you must come out as pure gold. All of us will be tested. I was tested in 2021. And the Lord told me, that you came out, Peter Chambers, as pure gold. The Lord told me, and there are many who got the vision, that the prophecies that he has given to me from 2020 until today, they shall surely come to pass. And we see them manifesting before our lives. But the prophecies that God gave Celestial, I can tell every, every one of you, they will come to pass.